Alrighty, everybody. So today we're actually returning to doing things on the FRS. Um, you know what the title is. It's the new steering wheel. The thumbnail is the new steering wheel. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to do it. First off, you do need to disconnect the battery. That's the smartest thing to do, um, especially when working with electronic stuff, especially airbags. Don't want to have that blow up on you. So yeah, disconnect that, give it some time, and then uh, I'll meet you in the car. All right, so it's easier to show you with my phone for this because you got to get into tight spaces, but right back there is one of the clips. Let me not fall over. Right back there in there is one of the clips. You got to put a flathead screwdriver in. There is one on the bottom of the steering wheel right there. And then there is one on the side of the steering wheel right back there. So then once you get those done, the airbag will um, like loosen and this will start to come out. So then we can pop this out. All right, and then once you take that out, there's these little clips right here that you need to pull up on. Um, just get the screwdriver under those like this and just lift them up. And then you can remove these here. You do wanna be careful, you don't wanna damage any of these. So I can't really hold it. Um, I'll just get back to you in a second. Okay, and one last thing. Don't forget this uh, ground wire right here. You wanna pull that off too. That one's kinda hidden. It's not as big and prominent as those ones. So just remember to take that one off too. Okay, and the next step, you're gonna need to get this 17 millimeter bolt off. I don't know how stuck on it is. It might need a uh, um, breaker bar, but we'll see if I can just do it with my hand. It's hard to do with one hand on also filming, so I'm gonna try to get this for you, but no promises, because I don't have a tripod. <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna need a breaker bar. All right, so the breaker bar made quick work of that. Um, it's loose now, but you don't want to loosen it off all the way. You want to leave some room in there because the next step is to pull the wheel towards you and you don't want it to, you know, come flying off at you. So again, I'm going to try to hold this under my chin here so I can get that POV action for you or just drop it. Okay. Well, so after some intense pulling and wiggling, it is now free and we can take this off all the way. and drop it immediately after. Set that right there and carefully let those out. And now your steering wheel is off. We need to transfer some of the um, components from the inside of this one to the inside of this one now. And I can do that out of the car now. Okay, so all of the things in here are held in with some Phillips screws and they're all the same length so it doesn't really matter which one you take out first. You do need to take out these if you have an automatic, the paddle shifters, you might want those um, just because they're fun. But I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys and uh, show you all the pieces out. Okay, so now that everything is off of the old steering wheel, we will start the process of putting all the new stuff on this steering wheel here. Um, as you can see, the cover's off, the paddle shifters are off, the cruise control is off. Um, all of these screws are the same except the one for the trim. The trim piece over here uses these screws. They don't have a washer on them, so they're the only different ones. But other than that, all of those screws are interchangeable. So it doesn't really matter. They're all the same length. Okay, so I've moved over here to my workbench to try to install the rest of it. Miata's kind of in the way. I don't know if I can get a really good angle, but that's probably as best as it's going to get. Um, so what you're going to do with this weight right here is this is supposed to go towards you, the uh, rubberized part. That's how it looked on mine when I took it off. So that goes right like that. There's two locator pins that hold it in. So all you gotta do is screw these in. It's pretty much all the same as uh, taking it off just in reverse. But I don't think I got to show you it because I was struggling with it. Because that's a lot of what I do, struggle. So now that that's on, all good. Um, we get to put, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, plastic trim pieces back on. So they connect, wait, maybe I should put, yeah, I need to put the trim pieces back on first. So these 
the plastic pieces here are held on by two screws and they are the same screws. So this is what does that. Let's see if I can line that up. There's a little hole that locates down here. Um, right there. Right there is where this is supposed to go. So you want to push that in and then you can screw in these two here. And those two are the screws that do not have washers attached. So, did that even focus? I can't really see the camera. These two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. And it's starting to look more like an actual steering wheel already, but you know, we're gonna get there. Let me screw that down. And then now it's starting to look pretty good. Um, we just need to put all of the accessories in. So like the, so next I'm gonna put in the shifting paddles, which can only go one way and they just fit right in there. So you don't have to worry about putting the reverse or the upshift or downshift backwards because they can only go in one way because God knows I'd find a way to do it the wrong way. It's just how things work. It's a, it's a miracle how I got the Miata running, honestly. That video is coming soon, by the way. It's just taken a while. <laughs> I have a bunch of clips over like six months of trying to find them, so that's why I'm working on the FRS right now. Just so I could get a quick video out, and because I really want to test out this steering wheel. I got it for Christmas. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for blessing me with this. Let me go ahead and put those cables back in there. There's like a little bracket right here that this blue one goes under, so just lift that up. Careful not to break it. I don't think it really matters, it's just being held in. And now, you've got your paddles back on. And, what else? The cruise control. I think that's the last thing that we need before we can go ahead and put this back in. So the cruise control here. This just slides in through this hole. It's kind of awkward, but slides right in, eventually. Yeah, see? And then once you get this in, it's not that difficult, I'm just trying to film it as well. You can go ahead and line it up with this little locator pin here. And then the blue cable from the shifter will go right in there. It goes around that little bracket so that it's not in the way and it'll actually, you know, like fit in. And now you don't want to get all the other cables like pinched by this, so you kind of got to, again, give it some good finagling like that. And now that these cables are out of the way and not going to get pinched down, I can screw in the cruise control with our two remaining bolts. Nuts. Screws. I know the word. I promise. And then, where'd that other screw go? Don't tell me it fell on the floor. I swear to God. After a quick couple of seconds, I found it. It just had rolled right over there. Ignore my dogs deciding to bark at the most annoying times. Uh, it's the only thing they know. All right, and then after that, we are good to go put it back in. All right, now that we are back in the FRS, um, since the wheel was a little bit cockeyed, or a little bit, I don't know, I might need to get an alignment up. Oh, look, you can see those two, they line up perfectly for top dead center, and then that goes right there. So I just need to fit these back in here. All right, now that that is in there, um, we will get this bolt. I wanna add some blue uh, medium strength thread locker to that before I tighten that on. So I'm gonna go grab that first. All right, so I shit out a little bit of it there. We're gonna go back in here and stick that bad boy right on. Um, wheel is in place, let me grab the socket. Okay, so after it's been tightened down, um, I'm gonna go get a torque wrench and check the torque specs to make sure that they are the correct spec because this is a steering wheel. 
All right, so according to the forms, it is 29 foot-pounds that you want to torque it down to. So I have set the wrench right here to about like, just a little bit under 30, which is about as good as I can get it to. And I'm going to go ahead and torque this down just to make sure, and then we can start plugging in these connectors. Yay! All right, and so you make sure that you plug these in here. This one goes right up top to that, and this one here goes right into there and then we can put the airbag in now looks like the paddle shifters are plugged in that would be that one right there so if your car is a manual you probably just don't have that there that's probably not being used but let's go ahead and do this all right now that we have the airbag right here we get to plug this stuff back in um, starting with the ground because that one's probably going to be a little harder to install if we forget it so that just goes right over there make sure that's nice and snug all good and now once we get these up here the orange goes to the orange and the black goes to the black so they just kind of clip right in there once i can line this shyster up like that it's nice and satisfying click too so you'll know that it's in and now we get to go ahead and push this back and get to make sure everything is plugged in one last time. And then you just go ahead and push these in so that you hear all the clicks. And now your new steering wheel is installed. Look at that. All right, so I forgot to film an outro. So that's what this is right now. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The uh, steering wheel's great. I really love how it feels. Um, the thumb slots especially are super nice. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, any you know feedback, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, please tell me why. <laughs> um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got some more stuff coming up for the FRS and some more stuff from the Miata. Another video that I'm working on and editing right now. So. Go ahead and uh, stay subscribed. Um, see you in the next one. Peace.